stone and mine. Some of you guys may not know this, but I have four pets. Pancake, she's about to jump off. Maybe not. And we have Peanut. Now the other two pets are also right here in these. So these are spiders. On the right we have Golden Knees, which is sat a little further back in this little tub. He has molted, or she has molted. And this right here is Brazilian Black. Yeah, this has molted about twice. This has, I think, about four times. So what I've got for these two is some more food. And here we have the box with the food inside of it. So a couple of people were asking for updates on these spiders and they were saying that if we don't get an update, we are gonna go on hunger strike. That was about a month ago. Okay, so we've got a little tub in here. And in this goes Padeka So. Bit of a mess, but uh, should be fine. Let me just... Um... All right, so here we have these guys. I got the first ones when I got these, and they have recently finished. So these are going to last quite some time. Okay, so these can go here, and I will quickly get rid of this box. Mini mealworms. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to move those to one side, and uh, this yogurt pot. It's some pretty good yogurt, actually. And on the bottom of this, we've got some blue tech. That's just going to keep it in place. So I'm going to open this one in here because that one in there is a little skittish. And it's probably not going to come out of its um, little corner. It's in the corner somewhere. Okay, so we've got a bit of a top-down angle and the spider is down there in its little tunnel. So here we have a worm and that is going to go in there. And that is exactly where the spider is. So when it starts wriggling, the spider's going to turn around and grab it. Okay, so what else I have here is some water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them 10 drops of water each. That will soak into the substrate and then um, there'll be condensation that forms. That way the spider will be able to drink from it. And I'm going to do the same to this one. Only this one, I've got to take out its, uh, its malt. So check this out. This one may actually even try to climb out too. He's actually starting to show a few more colors now as well. So what I'll do now is I'll take out a wormy for this one as well. And I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter which one I go for, he's gonna go straight for it too. So here we have a wormy and grabbed it. Okay, so also what I need to do is, I need to take out the other malt which is on the side right there. So um, that is the next thing that is going to get taken out. So I just need to grab it like this and... And he's still busy with that. Okay, so same thing again, I'm going to give this guy some water. And there we go. That is the feeding done for these guys for probably about a week, maybe even two weeks, maybe longer. And as you can see, the wormy is still alive. I've not squished its head or anything, which is something that you've got to do sometimes because they burrow themselves into the, into the substrate and uh, get away from the spider. So spiders have been fed and watered and uh, this was just a quick update video. So uh, this is the end of the video and there is nothing else after this, so uh, have a nice day, evening, or whatever it is for you. So uh, I will see you again in the next one. Or, you know, I say that all the time, but um, I will speak to you again in the next one. That's better. All right, bye. That looks a little different, doesn't it? Yeah. So uh, FL Studio, I've been making music for the past 13, 14, 15, something like that years. I've made like little melodies of things and just basically had those files saved and stuff. What I usually do is I start off with a bit of a melody, add a beat to it. And uh, if I can't do anything with it or, you know, if, I, if I've got more, in my head. What I do is I make a new project and uh, basically start again. Throughout the years I've accumulated a lot of these sorts of projects and this right here is just like one melody sort of thing there and then later on there's another one. I think there's about three in total so far, maybe four, that I've sort of stuck together. Normally this would be sort of a uh, mix 
of sorts. Basically, there'll be like one track that sort of leads into another one, and then that one leads into another one, and you know, it continues down the line. So basically what I've been doing is, I've taken those melodies that I've made in the past and uh, sort of recreated parts of them. Each of those things that blend with the previous and the next one is a melody that I've come up with at some point in time. I'm just sort of experimenting um, I don't really make music to sell it, although a couple of people have bought the odd sort of slightly uh, strange creation, let's just say. Most of my music is sort of uh, experimental and um, that's about it really, but I've got FL Studio open. And as you can see on the side here, we have uh, a different speaker in there. Also, I have another amp on my desk, which you've seen because it's in a previous video and you watched that video, didn't you? Yes. This right here is the eyewear setup, but obviously it's not eyewear, it is uh, this right here. So, yes. So basically what I'm gonna be doing is just playing a bit of music through this and uh, I don't know, I just thought I'd mess around a little bit. Had no real sort of goal for a video, just thought I'd throw something together quickly and uh, this is what I've come up with. So, uh, not only this, but on top of this, we have this right here. Looks a bit better in black, I think. This also looks better in red. So in Vega, SMD Tweeter, Inside Joke, you've got to watch the previous videos to get it. So, not too sure what I'll do with these. Something though, I might just stop filming here though and uh, maybe continue some other time. Just wanted to give you a bit of an update on these. Lovely day today, nice and grey. Okay, so let's say you're making some music and you have your uh, door loaded up and uh, you don't have any monitor speakers, uh, you're just wearing headphones. That is what I'm getting at. You're just wearing headphones. How do you hear the lower bass notes? Uh, there's a couple of ways you can do it, but... And you will also be able to hear this if you have headphones on or you have a sub or, you know, some decent sort of audio system. So uh, we're going to pretend that my headphones right now cannot hear this bass note. I can, but uh, we're going to pretend that I can't because not all headphones get that low. If you're also planning on making music with some random speakers that maybe are not suitable for making music with, then this technique will probably help you. So uh, what I'm going to do now is put in the melody. So... Uh Okay, so we have this monitor, which is full of glare. Um, anyway, that those right there are the notes. So uh, I'm just gonna quantize those quick ting. And uh, that should do, I think. Um, we've got more notes on this screen over here that you can't see. Right, there we are. Now you can see them. Um, yeah, wasn't really much to look at. Kinda like this, but green. But now what I can do is I can let this play and I don't have to use my fingers. Um, well, I'll be using my fingers for other things. Um, okay, so here we have our bass line. So what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna pretend that I haven't done this. All right, so once again, you're making beats with headphones on and you don't have a sub or anything. You've got a couple of speakers maybe. So what do you do? This is what I do. Uh, well, what I would do. I'm not gonna do this because I've got, you know, proper speakers and stuff. So let's say you've got an amp. You may have an amp, you may not. Uh, if you do, then that would probably help. Okay, so what you'll do on your amp is, uh, obviously first you need some sort of an output to this from your computer. So then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to here, select the menu, Go over to crossover, select that. So we have channel one and channel two, left and right channel in other words. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select one of these and select the low pass. And uh, we'll set the low pass at, um, I don't know, like maybe 50 hertz, 40 hertz, something like that. Let's say 50. And channel two. Channel two has been done automatically. And then exit. Now we've got a low pass on both channels. So this is actually what some producers do. Put the camera on there like this. Open up the aperture a little bit. So let's pretend now that I'm gonna make a new bass line. I'm gonna press play and uh, this is 
me still wearing headphones, but you know, I've got this now to give me a more accurate representation of what the bass line is like. 